Hello, I'm Dr. Sam and this is Dr. Sam's Health. And today we're going to have a special Q&A session. This Q&A session will be special because we've got a special occasion. First of all, today is October 14th, it's my birthday, but also it is the birthday of my channel. Exactly a year ago I posted my first video where I introduced myself and started the work on this channel and trying to build our community of uh, people who want to change their life for better, people who want to be healthier, who want to look healthier, who want to exercise, uh, know more about their bodies, about nutrition, uh, about healthy living in general. So today to celebrate the first year of our community building efforts, I'm going to answer a question from one of my viewers and now subscribers. He asked me whether heavy lifting can affect height and I believe that it's a very good and timely question. Uh, I'm very grateful that you asked this question just because I'm way past the growth spurt and uh, I didn't really think about uh, things like that for a couple of decades at least. So I'm happy that you asked this question and gave me an opportunity to actually reflect on this and answer it. Uh, on a side note, this question was asked in relationship to another YouTuber who made several claims about the relationship between height and uh, uh, physical exercise. I don't really want to go over them, just because I'm not in the business of discussing other YouTubers and I don't want to say anything uh, in general, especially something negative, uh, like debunking these claims and so on. So what I would do, I would just focus on what I know and what I can uh, bring to the table in terms of answering this question. So the very first thing I would like to talk about is the timeline of human growth. So effectively, we all born very small, we grow at a relatively steady pace until we reach puberty. And uh, usually the height increase slows down a little bit before puberty and then during puberty and shortly after there is a hormonal change that leads to a growth spurt and uh, after that the areas of our bones that grow, they are responsible for growth, they close and no further uh, height increase is possible. As you know or might know, girls reach puberty earlier than boys, so they have this growth spurt earlier than boys and they reach their maximum height earlier. Uh, it usually happens around the age of 15-16 in girls and the age of 17-18 in boys. Having said that, there are always some outliers, meaning there are people who stop growing way earlier or they continue growing way longer past this uh, time limit of 15, 16 years for girls and 17, 18 for boys. But as a general rule, we do not expect any height increase after this age. And uh, I would say that this whole question about strength training affecting height uh, is only relevant within this time frame, like before uh, and shortly after people reach puberty. I have already mentioned these areas or parts of our bones that are responsible for growth and I think we should talk about them in a little bit more detail. So these areas are called uh, epiphyseal plates or growth plates. And uh, the major factor that is affecting bone growth and these areas is uh, something that is called growth hormone. Actually, there is a lot of speculation about growth for hormones effects after puberty, after these uh, growth plates have closed. Uh, but during puberty, during the periods of life uh, span when these growth plates are still open, it's absolutely clear that the major role of growth hormone is actually make, to make sure that we grow. Our height increases and actually the thickness of our bones increases too. There are other factors that are affecting growth uh, other than growth hormone. There is also other hormones such as testosterone, for example. There is sleep. Uh, when we sleep, we produce a lot of growth hormone and it's very important to have enough sleep to uh, reach your height potential. Uh, also, nutrition obviously is playing a huge role. You simply need all these nutrients to build bones properly, like vitamin D, and specific amino acids and so on. But also, one of the major factors for growth is exercise. And we have seen lots of studies showing that resistance exercise with submaximal weights uh, causes a release of growth hormone and testosterone and both of these hormones are affecting these growth plates. So theoretically, 
physical exercise, specifically resistance training, should positively affect your height, meaning it would stimulate your body to grow faster. At the same time, a lot of people are still concerned that if you are, they are lifting very heavy weights, they are doing heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, these exercises can mechanically affect their height uh, or more precisely their growth plates. I would like to take a look at two scenarios. One scenario is uh, acute injury to these growth plates and these areas seem to be more vulnerable to injury than the, uh, the rest of the bone. So if you are working out and you're doing something with very poor form and you are lifting very heavy weights, you are at high risk of damaging your bones and specifically this damage will affect these growth plates. Uh, it's very likely then indeed your height will be affected or your bone growth in general. Fortunately, these scenarios are not very common or not very frequent and at the same time they are preventable, meaning that if we properly program our workouts, if they are supervised by a trained individual, uh, the chances of you injuring your growth plates are actually very low and uh, it's quite unlikely that physical exercise will affect your height in, in, in this way. The other scenario involves pure mechanical tension, pressure produced that the weight by the ways that you're lifting on your growth plates. And I must say that our bodies are built to withstand this tension. What we know from physiology is the uh, regular physical exercise produces this tension that in turn serves as a stimulus for our bones to grow and to strengthen. In my reply to the person who asked this question, I actually said that I have to do a lead search and to check the literature on this subject and I did and as promised I've done it. I was actually very curious what I would find. Uh, there are a number of systematic reviews and direct studies showing that physical exercise uh, does not really have any negative or really substantial positive effect on height. Uh, there are a number of studies showing that physical exercise increases bone density and our strength and is in general a positive factor, positively affecting our growth and maturation of our skeletal muscular system. I said that I don't want to review the claims of another YouTuber, but I will actually review one, uh, just because it was funny to watch the person who claims to be a doctor to say things like that. So the person said something along the lines that uh, if you are engaging in specific exercises, your height might go up. You, you might increase your height by two to four inches. And uh, to quote the person directly, I've seen it happen. So just to be facetious, first of all, you cannot really see it happen because it happens over the course of a year. Unless you are staring at the person for a year, you cannot see the person's height increase. Uh, but it's just me being difficult. I don't really know what this YouTuber had really observed, but I can assume that what he had observed is uh, one or two or several uh, young athletes. They have to be young in order to have uh, an ability to grow in general because their growth plates must be still open. So he observed a group of these people who were doing some physical exercise, strength training, resistance training rather intensively, and their height increased, which is a natural process for someone at that age. In order to show that physical exercise had positive or negative effect on their height, you have to run a clinical trial. Specifically, it should be a randomized controlled trial, which simply means that you take a group of people of approximately the same age, uh, height, weight, and you um, randomly select, split them into two groups. One group go, uh, undergoes some extensive physical training, another group doesn't do it, or does endurance exercise or something else. Uh, these two groups receive similar nutrition uh, and are observed for a year or so just to see how their height would, would change. These groups have to be large enough to get statistically significant result. So we're talking about at least 20-30 people in each group. I'm pretty sure that this research project sounds like something extremely difficult to, to, to run, but 
actually there were quite a few research products which were way more complex than that and uh, the question that you asked my friend is actually very uh, important and there were studies of similar design and uh, as I said earlier the studies showed that uh, there is pretty much no effect uh, of uh, resistance training on height. Personal observations do not really count. They are not supposed to be enough of a scientific evidence to support any hypothesis. That's why we test them using proper scientific methodology. So just to quickly recap everything I was talking about. First of all, your growth cannot be affected after a certain age, 15-16 years of age for girls, 17-18 years of age for boys. Uh, second thing is that physical exercise does result in a release of growth hormone that in turn uh, is supposed to help with uh, increasing height and stimulating growth in general, but number of research articles show that this effect is kind of negligible. And the last but definitely the most important uh, thing is your concern that uh, strenuous exercise, heavy lifting might affect your height is actually not supported by research evidence unless uh, you get injured. And that just highlights the importance of safety uh, during exercise at all ages, but specifically at younger ages when your growth plates haven't closed yet. So that's it for today. I hope that it clarifies everything for you. Uh, I hope that we went over the most critical items and uh, Right now, you know that you can exercise, but you have to be careful uh, in terms of not getting injured. Uh, if you have any further questions, go ahead, please. You're more than welcome to uh, ask them on my YouTube ch channel, on my website. Uh, I always encourage all kinds of comments. I never delete them. Uh, please, if you like my videos, subscribe. Check out my website, drsamshealth.com. We've got quite a few interesting items there including my blogs where I go over the same topics but in more detail. Uh, we've got Research Digest where I just critically review the articles and I, I uh, place them in the science section with a little description of what is this article about and uh, what you can learn from it. Also, we've got some tools for your personal body transformation. So quite a few things for you to check out. So happy birthday to Dr. Sam's health and I wish you all the best. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.